Hi, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to make a one-to-one -one model replica of the Willis Tower in SketchUp. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to find all of that information which is available online, how to then figure out that information, and then how to make that in SketchUp. This is going to come in very handy if you're going to be making the micro cities from the micro city unit. Uh, where we do make those one-to-one -one replicas of different monuments and put them in one town and scale that down. All right, so first thing you're going to need to do is actually have a browser opened up, and hopefully you have a Google search page. Mine is already uh, searched to the Willis Tower, but as you can see here, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to select the Wikipedia article on this. Now, I know some people are like, Wikipedia is awful, but to be honest, Wikipedia is very, very accurate nowadays. All right, so now that the Wikipedia page has opened up on the Willis Tower, we can see a few things. First, there is a photo of it right there, so we're going to be creating this building. Uh, it looks like something that perhaps the emperor lives in. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe the Eye of Sauron up there. Anyways, if I click back, if we scroll down, we can see on the right-hand side there's some important information down here. So there, uh, there's the first height that we have here. We do have the floor count. And we also have the area. This is also important to note that this is on a city block. And the average city block is about uh, 600 feet long. So keeping that in mind, you can... Uh, you can read here and get the actual one, but I'm just going to go with that 600 feet idea there. Oh, hey. It's a square base with 225 feet. That's going to make it even better so we can make it more accurate. So we need to know that it is 225 feet on each side. Uh, there's 108 floors. It's 1,450 feet tall. And with the uh, towers or the tips, the antennas on there, it's 1,729 feet. All right, so I've actually gone in and I made this notepad uh, just so we can see it. I'm going to add that 225 feet on each side. It's very important that we keep all of this information collected somewhere so we can go back and reference that periodically while we're building this. Okay, now first thing we'll notice is that it is 108 floors. 108 floors is equal to 1,451 feet for this. So with some basic division math, I figured out that one floor is about 12.5 feet high. This is going to come in handy because as we scroll down on this Wikipedia page, uh, excuse me, scroll up, we need to find this photo here because this photo is going to make it way easier in terms of designing and developing in SketchUp. So we see that it's a 3x3 three three base here, which means there's uh, nine separate components. So we see here the first set is 50 floors up, next one's 66 floors, 90 floors, and 108 floors. That's where this comes in, so 50 times 12.5, 625, yada, yada, yada. Anyways, we need all of this information to work. So next on SketchUp, make sure you have that open. We can go ahead and delete this person here. We're going to use our rectangle tool first and create a random sized rectangle and immediately type 225 single quotation mark for feet, comma 225 single quotation mark for feet. All right, now that we have this, let's go ahead and zoom extents and let's get a top down view so we can figure out what our three by three base is going to be. So to do that, all we have to do is divide 225 by three. And let me pull that up on my handy calculator. 225 divided by three. It's going to be 75 feet for each section. So in this case, I'm gonna first start with my tape measure tool here. And I'm going to drag out a random size and type 75, single quotation mark, enter. All right, I'll go from here. 75, single quotation mark, enter. And all I'm doing is uh, just making this easier for me to measure everything out. So we'll go here, 75, single quotation mark, enter. 
and 75 single quotation mark enter and if I look at the top down view you're going to see I now have this nice grid pattern so again just took my tape measure tool dragged out a random length and then typed in 75 single quotation mark do that from every side it's easier than adding it up together uh, that is for sure so now that I have this pattern ready I'm going to have to use my line tool here and I'm just going to trace these lines like so and by making this grid pattern it's going to make it 10 times easier for us all right now there's two ways you can go about this um, well first off I'm going to erase those dotted lines I don't need to be looking at them they'll just clutter up my view and I'm going to choose a view that looks like this now the first way we can go about this when we pull open this we can either start from here at the 50 floors or start at the 108 floors. I recommend starting at the 108 floors and working backwards. And that is because you run into an issue uh, where I can actually demonstrate that for you. If you raise this up a certain height and then the next one you raise, it gets stuck to an offset limit. Once that happens, you then have to click it again and raise it. To prevent yourself from making a mistake with the math, where you would say minus the 1,125 feet from the 825 feet that you had already set. Um, if we start with the highest level, then we never run into that issue because we're working down. So let's go ahead. I'm going to control Z that. Get rid of those. So let's go back and check this out. We can see that based off of this, the 108 story floors, they are going to be uh, two side by side right next to each other and one is on an outer edge and the other is the direct center so from here I'm gonna take this I'm gonna uh, go ahead and type actually, I'm gonna make it easier on myself I'm gonna start with this middle one so if you raise this up and now you're stuck there control Z to undo it and go ahead and go with the middle one and let's type in that 1451 Foot. So 1,451. Make sure you don't add a comma in there. If you add a comma in there, it's going to mess it up for you. So 1,451, 1,451, single quotation mark, and enter. And that, after we zoom extent, is our first tower right there. We can raise the next one up so it gets stuck at that offset limit. And now our highest story is complete we go back here we can take a look at the 90 floor so I'm again working backwards and I see that it's going to have a one two three pattern around our highest one so if I go back to SketchUp I'm gonna have to orbit tool around and remember the 90 floors is right next to the center so that eliminates this one here so I'm gonna go here and 90 floors ends up being that 1,125. So I go here and I type 1, 1, 2, 5, quotation mark, enter. And then I can just raise these up using that same practice of the push-pull tool and then setting it to a specific edge like that. So now I have my 90 floors done. Let's check out next one is 66 floors at 825 feet so if I go here I'm gonna see that those are on two corners right there the 825 foot ones so back to SketchUp and it's going to be this one here drag up to a random height type 825 single quotation mark enter rotate around our building we'll go here and type 825 single quotation mark enter um, oh I made a mistake there didn't I nope no I didn't I was looking at the wrong one so say you undo something and you want to bring it back control Y is uh, what fixes that so yep those are correct and then the 50 floors are the last two ones we haven't built yet so in this case I want to double check to make sure 625 feet Go back to SketchUp, push pull tool, 625 single quotation mark enter, 
and we'll go here, push pull, six, two, five, single quotation mark, enter. All right, now if I scroll back, I have just completed the Willis Tower in a little under 10 minutes. Uh, pretty easy to do, but we're not actually done yet. See, we have to build that antenna. So I'm going to make a combination. I'm going to exit out of this photo here. I'm going to do a combination of looking at these and then some of my own artistic creative design with it. I can see that there's two main antenna poles, uh, but the one in the center, which is right here, is taller just by a little bit. So that's going to be the tallest one. And then my other antenna pole is just going to be a little bit smaller, and then I'll add some small ones around each corner. So the way that's going to look like, I'm going to go here. And I now need to also do some short math again. So I'm already at the highest amount right there, which is the, uh, double check that, 1,451 feet. To figure out how much I need to extend my antenna from the top of there, I'm going to clear my calculator currently. I'm going to type uh, 1,729 minus 1,451 feet, which gives me 278 feet to work with. So that's what I'm going to use is 278 feet. I'm going to zoom in at the top of the tower here. I'm going to make a line for my own benefit so I can find the midpoint, make it perfectly centered right there. Uh, make it a little big like that. That looks good right there. And I can delete these lines, get rid of those, get rid of that guy. I'm going to push pull that to a random height and type the 278 single quotation mark. And there we go. I've created the first antenna uh, tower right there. So now I'm going to go in and I'm going to do that for uh, this and then maybe add some smaller ones on there. If you found this video interesting, informational, helpful, or you built along with it, hey, give me a like on this. Uh, otherwise, if you have any questions or comments, please leave those below in the comments section. And as always, thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to get more content on SketchUp, Arduino, and even my teaching thoughts. Thanks for watching.